This is part five of the ZBrush video tutorial series, Building the War Sloth. Uh, by now, we're pretty far along with redrawing the topology. Let's just skip forward with some of the you know, more boring steps. And again, I'm going to click, click to connect, and then I will click in a free space on the model, uh, allowing me to start in a new area. I'm also making sure when I'm drawing my topology, I'm, I'm trying to look not just for quads, but as square faces as I possibly can. I find it's very quick when drawing the legs or arms to make very long, um, very rectangular faces very quickly uh, because it's very quick to just click, make one very long face. But leaving them as long squares uh, or long rectangles, I should say, uh, really sort of defeats the point of ZBrush's brushes, which work best over square geometry. So I'll come back in, as you see here, and really cut those up into more square forms before I'm done with topology. What you now see is pretty much completed. Once I am done, I can very easily turn this into a actually usable model. Uh, and to do this, I'm now currently just looking at a preview of my adaptive skin. But if I go into the adaptive skin sub palette, of the tool palette, I'll be able to hit the Make Adaptive Skin button. And that's going to take all this detail that we see here that I've sculpted and then retopologized, and it's going to turn it into a workable model with multiple levels of resolution. Hit Make Adaptive Skin, and you'll see that'll make that new model for me. I'll switch to it in the tool palette. And then if I go to the Geometry sub palette, you'll see each of these levels of resolution. Here's my low poly model for me right now. That's pretty much all of the little click, click connects that I made earlier. As I walk my way through this hierarchy, you can see I can increasingly add back in those levels of detail. It's just like any other ZBrush tool that you'd be working with, except this one I've created entirely from scratch inside of ZBrush. Now, the catch to that is that I still don't have hands and feet. So in part six, we're going to look at adding those on inside Maya. To get this to Maya, I'm going to go to the tool palette and hit export. And I'll save this as an OBJ. Uh, and in part six, we will add in hands and feet.